What's up, guys? We're back here for Don Monty episode two. Let me just take my seat here. I we were not prepared at all. So. I'm I'm ready. So this episode, it's a day late and yeah. a dollar short. But the episode's really good. That's just on our part, actually. Uh, we have uh, Apollo. He's there again. He's being creepy. You're gonna get more of that. The person who didn't like that, you're gonna get more of it here. You know, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. What it is. You're gonna have a lot of it those gets spaces. a little darker. We got to chase. Pretty much, it follows the book beat by beat. There are some elements that are. Um, extended a little bit, on short a little bit, but that's, you know, the context of converting a show from written right. to... Right. I don't think it was anything yeah. at the level that's concerning. It's just kind of like, oh yeah, you know, they have 20 minutes. I think they did it pretty well. Plus, if you want to say it's a budgeting reason, it's like, hey, I want to see that in the war game, which I'm pretty sure that's what they're saving it for. They're probably saving it for something that we won't mention here on the back half of the season, so, you know, nothing to be concerned about now. Yeah. Uh, first, well, is there? Uh, I guess there are some like minor chase scenes, but that's like a overarching theme. If you've watched some of our yeah, movies, yeah. there's always a chase scene. This this was really done well. Um, the characters were done well in this episode. We got to see, pretty much it starts right off the bat. I think what's really great is for those who are anime onlys, um, you really don't expect what happens in this episode. You really don't expect yeah. the chase scene, you know? Well, because like it's this season is completely different than uh, the first season in terms of pacing, just alone. Uh, because, you know, you just have stuff go happening, and it's like explosive stuff happening back to back to back in the book. You can't even be like, books. well, in the book it was six months. Like, no, it happened right back to yeah, back. Yeah. Like, that's actually how it happened. It took um, Bell to level up to two in a month and a half, right? So, like, like half that. of the se first season is like a month and a half, yeah. you know, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, even. for sure. But, uh, yeah, the, the pace continues, really done, really pacing done well. We didn't talk too much about the opening class episode. No, we need to touch on that. But we should touch on that, yeah. So, yeah, I don't want to, like, we'll talk, like, our feelings, but I want to make sure we don't say too much. I'm going to do, like, little, like, hints for the people that have read the books, but I'm going to try to keep it non-spoiler, like, because there is some stuff in there for, yeah, like, for like sure. novel readers. Yeah, for sure. Um... So overall, the characters they introduced, I think um, the atmosphere that they did for Book 7 Elements, um, it's kind of going to flow perfectly in the opening. So like mm -hmm. in the opening, you obviously you get some darker colors, some darker tones, and but at the same time, I think the song and the opening itself is great because you get the real sense of adventure that I think is what yeah. Machi is all about. I like this, the, like just the song, starting with the song first, I like the song a lot better than I do in the first season. It's not that I hated the song in general, I just didn't think the song in the first season was like a good fit in this one. I really like it because I think it's like what you said, it has that sense of like adventure. I also like the animation though, because like the animation is always like good in this show, but I think just seeing like the first glimpse of those like pages come to life in the opening is just really cool to see and I think the like you, they handled the atmosphere of what we haven't seen yet. <laughs> well, pretty well. Yeah, just, and uh, yeah, I think that they, they gave there. enough um, clues for the for the light novel reels for you to be like, oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But if like you haven't, you, you don't really get any of it given away. Yeah, the um, only thing that I think is maybe a tad bit spoilery uh, for the opening is like the very beginning part. I'm not going to highlight it too specifically, but the very big, well, I guess I kind of did, but you know. Like, I won't go into too much detail, but I think that's a little bit, like, on yeah, the nose. Yeah, if you th thought about it for a little bit, then you'd understand yeah. what's going to happen. But I, but mean, I still appreciate it. Yeah. You know, that's so, going to pay off. Uh, the war game is on. It is. We, uh, the next episode is going to be more of a prepping episode, which is good. We have some problems dude, to work out. Dude, this is like, like, people are probably going to be like, oh, we're going to have, like, a filler episode. I'm like, dude, you guys don't <laughs> understand. This is, like, probably the second hype moment in the entire book of six. It's yeah. so great. I love yeah. this next episode coming up. Now, the only thing I don't know is if they're going to break it up to two episodes where we're going to get, like, a you know a band-together type thing or if they're going to speed it up and make it into one. I think there's, like, one piece of story in there that's going to be a little weird if they put it all in the same episode, but if they do, like, you know... They've been handling the every uh, part of the story broken up pretty well so far, so I'm not worried, but... I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, and uh, speaking about stuff, it's not... Well, first of all, I really like the episode. Many of the elements are great. Dialogue was great. Uh, you get that scene with Hestia and Belle, which is in the book, but mm -hmm. it was also uh, very well, uh, done very well. Um, I think another thing that they didn't balance as well in the first season, they're balancing pretty well, is in the first season, you kind of get the impression that Eyes is like the only girl, you know, that's like the, the girl that's going to be, you know, the main girl, kind of like... A ReZero in some ways. Yeah. Um, I would say but in the second that. season, um, I feel like, you know, Hestia's 
been killing. Like she's really, she's really cool. Yeah. Um, you you have Lily, who's gonna get some more room to shine in the next mm -hmm. couple episodes. Um, there's and characters have, I haven't even seen yeah, yet. Yeah, and there's some other characters you haven't even seen yet. So I think yeah. it is good balance that it's not. I think first season was a little bit eyes based, which makes sense why people are like, oh yeah, I like eyes. Like she's, t I can't wait till Belle and eyes get together. And it's yeah. like, but I think this season they more balanced it out, um, which which is good. I think there's only two things that could be more as like a nitpick, and I don't think they're really that big because you know, like we said, the chase scene, I think, just has a different approach to the direness of it. Yeah, there's um, there's a sense of despair. Yeah. You know, you're like, oh, what are we going to do? Because it seems like so hopeless, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, that leads, like, you know, the revelation that they're going to have to accept the war game is like, that's like their last resort. Because they, I mean, you know, you heard Hestia say that they would run away, but that's not really realistic for them. They have like no money, you know, it's only two of them. It's not going to work out very well. So, you know, that's seeing it built up in the book the way it was. It's not as magnified, I'd say, but it's still fine. I would say the only other thing that is kind of both in the first season and a little bit in this season, which I'm sure we'll get insight to it later, is that, uh, you know, I made a mention to you, but like Bell, uh, in the books, it's not to say he's completely uh, in you know, the know. not naive, you know, or yeah, exactly, completely in the know, but he's not um, really naive when it comes to like girls like hitting on him or like confessing to his face he's just like so nervous and like doesn't know what to do in that situation that he like deflects it right and in the show i think they don't do as good of a job uh depicting that but i think they did a little bit better in this episode just snap it and i don't know maybe it's just an anime thing but you know where he has like the redness going on i take that as like yeah you get what she was saying he was just kind of like yeah let's just you know let's put so, that off yeah let's put that off so you know it's, that's it's something much. that uh i know was like a gripe for some people in the first season that only watch the show, and it's like, no, you don't understand. <laughs> yeah. So I think he's also they, 14, so you know, give yeah. him some slack. Cut him some slack. And she's like a thousand years old. That's pedophilia right there. If you really think uh, anyway. about it, because really, she's like 14 looking. But yeah. And you can't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Just scratch but, that. Uh, but yeah, so next episode, um, we're going to get some prep, and then we're looking at four, episode four for like the main part of the, of the war games, which I'm pretty good with that pacing. Yeah. Um, and then there's, you know, there's some other things, and then we get to Volume 7. But so far, I've been really happy with the pacing. The opening is good. It's not top tier. I'm not going to listen to it in my car every day. But it is <laughs> no. something that I'm not going to skip either. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's so, um So the opening is good. The ending is good. The especially the is animation just, is yeah. hilarious. I don't They'll probably change that after Book 7 or something, but... Maybe, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we'll I guess, yeah. I guess that would make sense because of the... But, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a great show. It's on pace. It's it's not disappointing me. And, and, you know, every week it's something I look forward to, for sure. Yeah, I was like, you know, <laughs> this show has been such, like, a, uh, like, just nailing it right now. I'm just like, oh, can we get this twice a week, please? Yeah. <laughs> but, can we get 26 yeah. episodes yeah. instead of whatever, you know, 20? But the one thing that we do have this week is the movie, which we'll actually be seeing uh, later. I, I think it's Tuesday, so I don't know if we'll have it up Tuesday. We might have it up Wednesday or something like that. I don't know. It depends on our schedule. It'll be the next week. It'll probably be before our next Don Machi episode. Well, I'll take his word more than my word, so yeah, next week. <laughs> but hey, you're going to have Don Machi twice. Yeah. So. Look forward to that. It's like two a day workouts, except both of them are enjoyable. Yeah, exactly. You're looking forward to going on that adventure instead of to the gym. That's awful. Uh, That's but yeah, I think the this season so far is pretty good. I think next. I mean, I don't know if we have to see next episode really to recommend that you watch the show because it's been pretty really high quality animation yeah. across the board too. Yeah. So I would say if you haven't watched it, you should watch. Well, if you haven't seen the series at all, go watch the first season. Then watch this season. But, you know, if you just haven't made to watching season two yet, what are you doing? Go watch it right now. So, yeah, man, you know, there's uh, it's a good time to start books, too. So, you know, if you want to, yeah. I would, once the season is over, start reading more books because there's going to be more material and it gets really, really good. good. Additionally, really, really good. good. Hey, that's a perfect plug. If you go read the book or if you're thinking about reading the book, but you're not sure about reading the book, you should go check out our other reviews on all of the books that we've done. Or if you're just like, well, I mean, if you've read the books, then, hey, you should check out our discussions. Yeah, we got I never do those plugs, but yeah, whatever. They're not going to be in the description, so you know, just find them yourself. Yeah, it's a playlist. There's a, yeah, there is a playlist. So, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. We really enjoyed the episode. We really enjoyed the opening, and uh, just how we handled the source material. And uh, we're excited for it to come in the future. Yeah, that uh, that guy's name that 
is forgettable and mispronounced. I even doesn't matter. Six. Yeah. So no. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you next week and peace out. Later.